Improving a diet with a device that goes inside your body seems a little crazy, but I've bought four different brands and I'm gonna share my experience and thoughts with a continuous glucose monitor and why I think tracking your blood glucose can actually change your life. Very, NutriSense, Levels, and UltraHuman. These are the four different brands that I've actually tried. I'll have links for each of them down below. So why track your glucose? I realized that I didn't really fully understand how the food I eat impacts my glucose levels and my energy throughout the day. So I decided to put this device in and really get a tight feedback loop in terms of when I eat something and then understanding within a couple of hours, did that spike my glucose? Did it make me go up and then crash afterwards? All right, and with that information, I could better understand how can I keep my energy sustained throughout the day? while minimizing eating certain foods, changing the order of how I eat my foods, walking after my meals, and a whole bunch of other things. And it didn't hurt that Kevin O'Leary on the Impulsive Podcast talked about how he used a CGM to lose 22 pounds and just change his productivity throughout the day. What's crazy is he also wears a whoop and aura strap as well. We're pretty much the same person. Except he does have a lot more money, so make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that way I can keep running this channel. Now, what should you expect from all these brands? So they all come in their little fancy boxes. We've got Levels here. We've got NutriSense here and very here. What's interesting is the boxes get smaller. I don't know why. And what you'll see in the box is usually two of these Freestyle Libres. They each last 14 days. You'll put this hardware on and wear it throughout the experience and use their specific app. Levels is the one unique one where they're actually allowing you to use a Dexcom. Um, this is supposed to be via Bluetooth and they don't use NFC. So there are two hardware options currently out right now. And as you can see in the very box, same type of thing, the fancy packaging, you know, but they essentially are wrapping a Freestyle Libre 14 day in the box. In the United States, to get one of these, you actually do need a doctor's prescription, so these companies handle that prescription for you. And then on top of the Dexcom or the Freestyle Libre, you will wear a patch. These are kind of the active patches. I highly recommend wearing these if you work out a lot, which I'm assuming most people who buy these products do. They're also relatively similar, slightly different designs. They all have kind of a circle in the middle and then sticky around this, the side. So when you're sweating, this will stay on your body. It's supposed to last around 14 days. I still have had mine fall off where I slide up against a door or if I'm swimming too fast, you're essentially gonna be providing free marketing for them by placing this sticker on your arm, which I think is genius on their part, but also it can look cool. You know, I've made a lot of friends by seeing the level stickers on their arms. Honestly, if you keep watching my videos, you might run out of money, so maybe stop watching. And how do you install it? You will essentially shave Essentially what I do is I will shower, I will shave the area, and then I will clean it with an alcohol swab, I will install the device, which boom, you stick a needle in you, the filament goes inside, the needle gets removed, and then it's installed, I put the sticker over it, uh, and then you're good to go, and you set up the, everything else through the app. And then once it's installed, this is kind of what it looks like. It will stick a needle inside of you, and then insert this filament, the needle then gets removed, so there's no actual like needle inside of you for the entire experience, but there is a filament. The filament is flexible, so like you can like play with it and move it. Um, that will be inside of you. It'll measure your interstitial glucose, which is not your blood glucose, but it's relatively close and it can be delayed by 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and then the sensor will just live on top of your arm and you can scan it with the NFC on your iPhone. This is kind of what the sticker looks like after 14 days of use. It's gotten a little bit of damage there. It is a little bit gross. Sometimes there can be blood on it, but today we got lucky. Or should I say you got lucky? And then you will toss this out. So in terms of the hardware experience, all of them use a Freestyle Libre. Levels is the only one that actually incorporates your choice, which is the Dexcom or the Freestyle Libre. But overall, the hardware is essentially the same. Accuracy is all dependent on these hardware companies that are building these medical devices that are meant for diabetics. But when you buy it through these companies, you're using it for health optimization and they are not providing any kind of medical advice. And neither am I, I'm not a doctor, I'm just a YouTuber, don't trust people on the internet, okay? There is one difference that NutriSense has, they do have kind of a calibration feature. Now what I do recommend is that you spend more money because you're watching this channel, but you do buy a Keto Mojo, this is a blood prick device, this will measure your actual blood glucose. What you do is you take this device and you prick your finger, you get a little bit of blood, and then you put it inside of the Keto Mojo and it will tell your actual blood glucose values. Then you can use that number to calibrate the CGM. NutriSense is the only one that allows you to calibrate it within the app and they do recommend it right here. You can talk about manual calibration. Now what happens when it's time for the software? So that's where they differentiate. Their apps are different, the scanning, the inputting of food is all different. These are the three different apps. This is kind of what they look like. And this is the homepage of each app. What's interesting is the kind of overall user experience. I would say NutriSense is kind of more on the data heavy end. It's got tons of graphs, tons of information, and it gives you a whole bunch of data that can be a little bit overwhelming at times, but it's there and it's interesting. Uh, I really like it. Levels is probably the next most complicated. Same thing, they provide graphs, but they try to kind of create this overall stable percentage, stable hours right here. This is just trying to tell you to avoid spikes. Exercise spikes are okay. Um, and I do kind of like that experience. It, it kind of brings the focus to this main percentage up here. And it's kind of like, how are you performing overall throughout the day? And this bar will fill up throughout the day. And then I can see the food that I'm eating and the activity I've done as well. And then Vary is the most, I would say, user-friendly. 
Um, if you are new to CGMs, new to data, this is the one that I recommend just because the experience just feels very nice. I've got the activities, the food that I've eaten, and then my sleep as well. Um, they just make it super simple. They don't try to overwhelm you. And I love that the numbers are there and the colors are easy to understand. Now, the most important thing comes to scanning. So how do you scan? Uh, when it comes to the Very app, you essentially open the app and you press this button here, and then it will allow you to scan. My sensor has expired. So Levels is the one unique thing where they actually don't provide a way to scan with inside of their app. You actually have to download the Freestyle Libre link app from Abbott Labs, and then you can go ahead and set it up and scan your sensor here with NFC, and you have to connect the Freestyle Libre, and then you have to go ahead and connect this app to the Levels app through their like connected apps cloud feature. And then the data from here will sync to Levels. Sometimes it can take time, so you can tap here, tap Sync Now, um, and then you'll get that fresh new data. But it does require two apps, which is a little frustrating. I hope they fix this experience soon. Next is the NutriSense app. In terms of scanning, it's a little frustrating because you actually have to go to the homepage, press the plus sign, press scan. So it requires two taps, and then you can scan. Whereas the Very app is like you open, press scan. Libre app, press scan. This is like two taps. It's just an extra tap. But what I do like that NutriSense has is the press and hold and you can actually scan straight from their app shortcuts. Most people don't use these, but that's there. You can just press that, boom. So the first step is scanning. You have to scan it every eight hours because if you miss that scan, you'll lose some data. I do sometimes lay in bed for like eight to 10 hours, 12 hours because I'm lazy and I will miss some data overnight. That's totally fine, but it did feel a little anxiety inducing and frustrating because I was like, I need every single piece of data. Uh, but that's something to keep in mind is that you might lose a little bit of data, be fine with it. Don't let this app cause more anxiety. Next is logging food. So how do you log food? In terms of logging food, you go ahead and app meal on the very app, you type in what you want. You can also add from favorites. So if there are past things that you've added, um, you'll add it. If you wanna change the time, you go ahead and tap the time and you can scroll and change the time. You can change the date if you forgot to add it. I've noticed that it's really easy just to add the meal as you're eating it. Sometimes I do forget, so I'll add it later on. But if you do add it at the moment, you don't have to change the time and the date and it just saves you a whole bunch of stuff. You can always add a photo, all the apps support photos, and then you hit done, and then that meal will actually show up within your app. So here's my Greek yogurt fruit. Um, and then it'll give you a score after a couple of hours in terms of what they rate your meal. For the Levels app, you go ahead and press the plus sign. So what's nice about the Levels app is they give you your previous ones so I can add those with one tap. I don't have to tap into a menu or anything. I love that they make it super easy. I think the Levels app can sometimes be the easiest one in terms of logging food. I'll typically skip and then I'll say what I'm having, and then I hit save. So, you know, three taps right there. It is pretty much similar and on par with the Very app. I avoid, I used to add photos, but I kind of got lazy and stopped adding photos. If there are recent meals that you eat consistently, it's super easy just to add it right there. On the NutriSense app, you go ahead and tap meal, and then I can type in what I want and save. So same kind of experience, it's relatively fast. I would say this is one less tap than the Levels app. So sometimes I'm in the subway or my phone doesn't have connection, or I'm using a secondary phone that doesn't always have data. I just wanna add the meal, right? On these apps, I can go ahead and add the meal on Vary and Levels, but on NutriSense, they don't support offline meal, activity logging. That's really frustrating. What's really neat about the Vary app is if you forget to add it, it actually kinda of says event detected. What did you do? Exercise, shower, or food, and you can go ahead and tap and then super easy. What I found is adding a meal on Vary is the easiest, Levels is the second easiest, NutriSense is the hardest. Um, data wise, right? NutriSense gives you the most data, most charts, most analytical. Levels is the middle. Uh, I like the middle ground. And then Vary is kind of the most simple and easy to understand user experience, very colorful and friendly. What's really nice is I use Apple Health. So all of my activities and workouts will just automatically import into all of these apps. And I don't have to worry about that. But if you don't have an Apple Watch or any kind of device that puts your activity data into Apple Health, you'll have to manually do it. Getting a CGM, I highly recommend is like your second wearable. Always start with a fitness sleep tracker first, like one that ideally does both. I recommend the Apple Watch, you know, the Whoop and the Aura Ring are also great options. But if you can track your sleep and export that data from whatever wearable you're using into Apple Health, then all these devices will import your sleep and your fitness activities straight and it's automatic, you don't have to worry about it and it keeps it really simple. One thing I do love about NutriSense that the other apps don't do yet is they actually write to Apple Health. And I will always use NutriSense because I know it's gonna write these glucose values to my Apple Health. And then when I open up the Health app, I can see my average blood glucose throughout the day. And just having this information inside Apple Health is so important because then I can export it and use it in all the other apps. And levels and vary, why don't you add that feature? It's really frustrating. <laughs> Um, and then what I did realize is you can actually use all three apps with the same exact sensor. So I was actually scanning this sensor with all three apps and I do that so that way I can get Apple Health data from NutriSense. 
I do that because Levels, I just love, is my favorite app. And then Very, I wanted to show you what the experience is like. In terms of like the overall app experience, I'll just show you quickly what it looks like. This is the NutriSense app. You can kind of slide across the graph to see your CGM values. You can come down here to see the rating they give you for your meals. So like an eight, nine is really good. You know, on the higher end, you can they can see my sleep data, all that information. Um, I can go ahead and see my raw glucose values right here, and that data gets exported into Apple Health. Um, I can see my history, you know, everything that I've done in terms of activities. You can also run experiments. I haven't used this feature. It's a bit complicated, but all my experiments are inside of here. And then overall analytics. Uh, this data just gets a little bit overwhelming. I kind of need someone to like explain it to me, and I just don't have the time to invest in really understanding it all. But I do love that they provide these charts for you, and you can see like seven-day averages, 14-day averages, and 30 days, you know, etc. It's all there. They have all these cool graphs and charts and trends. But what I do love about them is there's this messaging feature. So I do have like a nutritionist who will support you in the first month, kind of like as a trial, and then you can add that on later on. Um, but it's really hard to find the messages sometimes. If you're willing to invest the time to understand your diet, it can be really valuable, but also know that it requires a lot of work on your end as well. And moving on to the Levels app, very similar. There's definitely a lo lot less going on to make it a little bit simpler, but there are still graphs and data, right? I can scroll through to see my CGM values to see my glucose values throughout the day, as well as understand the same kind of scoring for the meals that I've eaten and the kind of spike that I've gotten. They'll give you um, articles that you can read about it and then insights based on that meal. And then here I can see kind of the ratings for all the meals that I've had it over time. Um, you can see kind of the tens and then I can filter, I can search and understand like, okay, was this meal bad for me? Like I love in and out Looks like I had a stable response, but that I love that they all make it really simple to understand kind of the rating behind your meal. Levels will also send you like a daily metabolic report, which gives you kind of like overall highlights in your emails as well as like the metrics and how the foods that you ate impacted your blood glucose levels. So I think that's really neat. I already get way too many emails, so I struggle to read these. As, as you can see, they're pretty unread. But I do love, like this is the old report, what it looked like. I do love that they kind of categorize, hey, this food is kind of like bad because it spiked your glucose, and this food is good because it didn't spike glu your glucose. So just having that kind of dashboard style, tight feedback loop is really valuable. Um, and then I can see kind of days over time, the spikes that I had on what days and how long these spikes lasted for. So this is just the drive behavior change, right? Understanding why are you spiking and is the spike good or bad? If it's bad, how do I minimize it? And then finally, Very. So Very is definitely the most user-friendly app for any kind of person that hasn't really got involved in the data biohacking scene. Um, they make it super easy if you have different spikes, like, hey, what's the event? What event was detected? Let's uh, chat about that and add that. Um, they pull in you know, all my workouts. They rate my meals, right? I can tap there and see kind of Oh, this is what what happened. My sweet green salad was a six out of ten. Um, there's my spike, my last meal score, how much I slept. Right, these are all contributors to a potential score of why I got that score for the day. I can compare it to other meals. So Shake Shack got a nine, Sweet Green got a six. That's very very interesting. You got to take all this information with a grain of salt. What I learned is CGMs have a 15 to 20 minute delay. One, two. There's like a margin of error. So these are built for diabetics, right? These are built for massive spikes. And if you're using this for a very fine tuning health optimization, be mindful that this hardware was not built for that type of thing. Um, I can go through all my days and you can see that it's pulled in all this data. My ice cream was an eight, but a Chipotle was a six. It pulls in my body weight. Now you know how heavy I am. My sleep, because these are all factors like your sleep, your exercise, and your stress levels are all factors in terms of how your glucose is impacted by the meals you eat. They have scores for every day, like how did I score that day uh, out of 100, which is really cool. Um, you can go down and see like your meal scores, your sleep duration, like how effective was your sleep for those types of things. It even pulls in my steps and my exercise for the day. So maybe I can avoid eating watermelon, which I will never do because I love freaking watermelon. Um, they do are they are adding these new beta insights so I can see kind of like overall beta insights here. One thing that none of these apps have an, is an Apple Watch app. What I really want is to be able to save a meal and just add it via my Apple Watch and not worry about pulling out my phone and adding the meal. Like I'm trying to use my phone less and these products ask you to use your phone more. Uh, even sleeping next to your phone so that way you can scan right before you go to bed and scan right when you wake up. Like even more is I would love to see my fitness pal integration where I can actually just pull in the food from my fitness pal that way because I know my fitness pal writes all the nutrients I eat to Apple Health. It writes everything to Apple Health. I would love to see them pull that information from my fitness pal and me not have to actually input my foods in their apps. But I also understand they don't want you to download another app. Uh, and in terms of like traveling, going through an airport, doing a DEXA scan, the hardware is actually fine. You can wear it during a DEXA scan, uh, going through an x-ray at the airports. I've never really had it go off, I don't think. Uh, so it's been fine to travel with it. 
Um, but I have had issues where like it'll get stuck on my shirt or when I'm putting a backpack on or if I rub against like a door or the wall, I've had had it fall off. Like in terms of pricing, this is the pricing for NutriSense right now. I think sometimes the prices change over time. I've noticed like every month or two months, like these companies are changing their pricing, but this is what it is right now. Uh, NutriSense offers their actual CGM plus the nutrition coaching program. Levels on the other hand offers, I think it's like there's a yearly membership to get kind of access to the app and then you have to pay a certain amount. Usually it's like one to $200 per the 14 days. Uh, so it can come out to like $200 a month approximately. But then they also offer a metabolic health panel and then Vary. Um, and I have links below. These are all like discounted links for some of them. Vary is also the pricing keeps changing. I don't know what it is exactly right now, but if you use my code, you get 20% off, I think. Uh, and then some of them are only available in the US. So these three are available in the US. Outside, there's like Super Sapiens in Europe. Ultra Human is based in India. I did use their app, um, but I don't know if they're really offering it inside of the US. But same type of thing, my sensor has expired here as well. They do give you a little bit of report. You can scan, right? Same NFC technology, same hardware. But, and they give you a metabolic score for your food. So like, you know, that app is also available. I wasn't the biggest fan of Ultra Human, but if you're based in India, this is a good option. And then there's Cygnos and there's also January.ai. I try to contact them for that, but they did not provide any hardware, so I'm unable to talk about them. Now, what is my recommendation? If you are new to all this, go with Very. If you love data and you're super excited about getting real data information, NutriSense and Levels are my two other favorite options. My absolute favorite is Levels. I use them consistently the most just because like adding meals is the easiest. And that's it. Use my links down below because they help support the channel. I make a little bit of money no matter which link you use. Go watch my Levels CGM review linked right here. So let's all spend the money that we don't have. We'll see you in the next video.